as I developed and started to race, I got faster and faster and, of course, climbed higher and higher. And I started to race in fist races, which is where you go after you go through the Nancy Green League and the juvenile program. And I'm not sure what they call it now. I probably have the wrong names, but in my day, that's what it was called. And then you went into fist racing and you had to have fist points and it became more expensive and it became very difficult for me to try and budget for most of these races because sometimes the races changed and I had to go further than I'd ever gone before. And so in my budgeting, I miscalculated. And as I got to the end of the season that year, I was trying to figure out how I was going to pay for the races. The last series of races were going to be in Jasper. I got there. I paid my race fees. I knew how much the lift tickets would cost and what it would all be involved. And I suddenly realized I didn't have enough money for accommodation. And so that first night at Jasper, I slept in the backseat of the coach's car. By now, Mrs. Gill was no longer taking me up to the hill, and I was going with the coaches. And I didn't tell him where I was and what I was doing. And the next morning, he came out to start his car and noticed I was sleeping there. We had a conversation about it, and I had to explain myself. And pretty soon, it was, no, we've got to find you a room. I wasn't going to ask my dad for money because that wasn't allowed. This is where I was going. I'm going to tell you what I did and the difference that... George Andrews made senior in being one of my 831. You're listening to 831, Living Your Best Life podcast with Jungle Jim Hunter. Our goal is inspiring participation, communicating precision, and empowering performers to podium. And I hope that you have been inspired and empowered and that you will tell your friends to go to their favorite podcast provider or go to junglejimhunter.com and click on listen to the podcast. And click on subscribe, download, and like, and rate, and review, and let us know how we can help you. I'm getting several emails now from people all the time that are writing me. And so I'm doing this series about overcoming and facing the mountains that you have to move to become what you are. Today, I'm going to talk about overcoming financial problems. We all have financial problems. We all are faced with financial problems of enormous categories, but we don't seem to have the power to do anything about it. And we all can overcome financial problems, and I've had to. And I had to learn how to do it. And so the coach said, you can't do this. And I said, well, we'll talk about it after skiing. So we went up, we went up for the training and then came back. And when I came back, he said, you've got to get a room. And I went to Mr. Andrews and I said, Mr. Andrews, the Andrew Motor Lodge, um, I don't have enough money for a room. Is there any chance that you have a closet or a dorm or something I could stay in and I could work for you? He didn't hesitate. He was a big supporter of racers. And he said, sure. He says, you can wash dishes and serve tables. And so for the rest of that week, I washed the dishes in the back in the restaurant after I would finished my skiing and waxing my skis and training for the day. And I would wash dishes. I would serve tables. And on some occasions, when I would come back to pick up the plates after the guys had eaten, and you remember, most of the racers were staying there. They would flip the plates off the table onto the floor and make it look like I had dropped them. I took a lot of criticism. I took a lot of abuse for trying to do what I had to do to pay my way. And they thought I was just trying to show off. I wasn't. I was trying to pay my way. And Mr. Andrews never got upset with me and he never said anything, but he supported me entirely and said, you just stay with it. At the end of the week, I had a tremendous week. I had some great performances than I'd ever had before. And I got through that week and nobody knew except the coach that I had to pay my own way, that this is the way it had to be done. Let me ask you something. Are you willing to go that far? I, I, I know this sounds like it's very difficult and very challenging, but how far are you willing to go? How far are you willing to sacrifice everything that you've got to become the best you can be? I will always be grateful for the fact that George Andrews stood up for me and this coach stood up for me, and I appreciate it. But the fact of the matter is, are you willing to sacrifice everything you have to become the best? Are you willing to go that far? I didn't do this just once. There were several times I had to do this because sometimes I ran out of money before the season ran out and I had races to go. And you're going to hear more about that in some future podcasts. But my challenge to you today is how far are you willing to go? How many jobs would you have? How many jobs would you go through? How many jobs would you take on to try and earn enough money to keep your dream alive, to do what you have to do? And some people might think I was a poor budgeter. I probably was a poor budgeter. I was a kid. But I did the best I could with what I had. 
and I had to make those kinds of sacrifices. And if George Andrew hadn't come along, he wouldn't have been one of my 831. He wouldn't have helped me live my best life ever. I wish Mr. Andrews could have come to the Olympics and seen me perform. I don't know if he ever saw me perform, but I will always be grateful to him. My quote for the day, until you're willing to sacrifice all you have, you will never have enough will. I know that's a heavy one. Think about it. But my challenge to you this week is this. Take one hour a day, seven hours this week, 365 days in the next year to get your act together, to build the character inside of you, to have the will inside of you to take action, to develop traction, to develop tactics. All of those words contain the word act. And act for us is taking action on what you can do today, communicating in such a way that you are going in the direction that you desire to go and become, and then to start training to get there. Don't let anybody stop you, even when you run out of money. I really appreciate you listening. And I hope by next time we get together, you will have grown. <laughs> <laughs>